This Amazonian is one of the most iconic women in comics. Greetings, warriors. Dibs. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down the top 10 facts about Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Number 10. She's made of clay. Kind of. According to Wonder Woman's first origin story, she wasn't originally made of flesh and blood. Her mother, Hippolyta, was lonesome for a child. She fashioned a statue out of clay as a substitute. Seeing how sad she was, Aphrodite, the goddess of love, took pity on her and brought the statue to life. That origin has been changed in recent years, but longtime fans have a fondness for the story of the clay statue that became a mighty warrior for justice. I have no doubt you will serve us well, my daughter. Number 9. Linda Carter was not the first TV Wonder Woman. Millions of kids in the 1970s thrilled at the sight of Linda Carter as TV's Wonder Woman. Is that your final decision? But though Carter is forever identified with the role, she wasn't the first actress to portray the Amazon princess in live-action TV. That honor belongs to Kathy Lee Crosby, the former tennis player turned actress. <laughs> Crosby starred in the 1974 pilot that preceded the 1975 series. Crosby wasn't bad, but she wasn't the natural choice for the part that Carter was. And a very poor script didn't help matters much. Number 8. She has an invisible plane and an invisible fortress. One of the cool things about Wonder Woman has always been her unique mode of transportation. Who else can zoom around in an invisible plane? Of course, she can also fly all by herself, but that probably gets tiring. Somewhere along the way, writers decided that the plane was not only invisible, it was also sentient. Not only that, it was capable of turning itself into forms other than a plane. Thus, when needed, it became Wonder Dome, Wonder Woman's invisible fortress home away from home. Is she invisible when she's in there or not? Come on, guys, make up your mind. I, I can't even see the altimeter! I assure you, it's there. I know it's there! I'm saying I can't see it! Number 7. Frequent bondage scenes caused controversy. And now we will all learn the truth. Then why don't you ask her about this? Wonder Woman's real-life creator, William Moulton Marston, went on record by describing bondage and submission as an acceptable and noble practice. How do I make you helpless and take you prisoner? As a result, Wonder Woman and her pals often found themselves chained or otherwise bound with alarming frequency in the early days. Marston even wrote in a weakness for Wonder Woman that made chaining her bracelets together take away her super strength. There was an undeniable kinkiness to some of the scenes, which helped lead to the comic censorship movement of the 1950s and the founding of the Restrictive Comics Code. God, you're pretty. Men. Number 6. The 2017 movie is based on the new 52 Wonder Woman. It's Wonder Woman. It's her! Oh, someone do something! Oh, great. DC Comics relaunched its entire comics line in 2011, calling it the New 52 series. Even longtime characters like Wonder Woman found themselves undergoing changes in terms of origin, character, appearance, and focus. The New 52 was an attempt to breathe new life into the comics and to look at familiar characters in a new light, and modernize the entire universe all at once. I'd suck it in if I were you. It also makes sense that the long-awaited feature film version of the character is based on the New 52 version, along with changes to make the character more cinematic as well. Mr. President, it's nice to finally meet you. Number 5. Her bracelets are made of interesting metals. Wonder Woman is no stranger to crooks and guns, and bullets and bracelets, a technique in which she uses her metal accessories to deflect gunfire, is one of her favorites. Those bracelets are made of tough stuff and are a key piece of Amazonian armor. In the comics, they are created from Amazonium, described at one point as the hardest metal known to man. 
On the 1970s TV show, the bracelets are crafted from the similarly durable Feminum, a metal that can only be found in Wonder Woman's homeland. Whatever they're made of, they're effective, and go very well with her outfit. Number 4. Parents objected to her costume because it showed her back. Speaking of her outfit, Wonder Woman's costume has been both lauded and derided. You swing that sword with a smile and you scare normal people! And you dress like a whore! In recent years, many objected to the amount of cleavage that it revealed, while others argued that it was so skimpy that it wouldn't provide much protection in a fight. Embrace your truth, my friend. My outfit makes me feel powerful too. However, in the 1940s, what raised ire among the parents was how low the costume plunged in the back. Yes, there was a hue and cry over how Princess Diana's back might corrupt American children. God, your daughter's got a nice rack. Number 3. Wonder Woman's creator helped create the lie detector. Who are you? And what are you doing in New Themyscira? Fans of Wonder Woman know all about her magical lasso, which compels anyone entangled in it to tell the truth. The lasso compels you. Now tell us your truth. The Amazon's creator, William Moulton Marston, may have drawn from his own experience when creating the lasso. In his career as a psychologist and inventor, Marston created one of the components of the first lie detector machine. I will gladly present my guest to Zafura. He would see instantly that this golden lasso is all we need to get the truth. His systolic blood pressure test denotes changes in blood pressure when a person is lying, a fact which was first suggested to Marston by his wife. The lasso compels you. How do we shut off these charges? You can't. We'll all be dead shortly. The truth hurts, doesn't it? Number two, Margaret Sanger helped inspire Wonder Woman. May I, may I ask you this? Could it be that women in the United States have become too independent, that they followed the lead of women like Margaret Sanger? When conceiving Wonder Woman, Marston wanted to create a woman with Superman's power, but a distinctly feminine outlook. He found a great deal of inspiration from early feminists, and especially from birth control pioneer Margaret Sanger. I was, uh, I was what I would call a born humanitarian. I don't like to see people suffer. I don't like to see cruelty. Marston knew Sanger well. As a matter of fact, Sanger's niece was the mother of two of Marston's children. Much of Wonder Woman's viewpoints and self-confidence seem to have been influenced by Sanger. Well, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Before we reveal our topic, here are a few honorable mentions. Number one. Her debut coincided with the U.S. entering World War II. Now we will see if this so-called Wonder Woman deserves her reputation. Wonder Woman! December 7th, 1941 was a day that would live in infamy. The bombing of Pearl Harbor propelled the United States into World War II. A short time later, the December 1941 issue of All-Star Comics hit the stands, featuring the debut of everyone's favorite Amazon princess. This gentleman is Wonder Woman. Her strength and agility seem quite unusual. As part of Diana's mission in a man's world was to fight for justice while simultaneously advocating for peace, the timing was certainly fortuitous. You think a member of the Nazi elite would fall for that old trick? Many of her early adventures found her involved in the war in various ways. When it came to the war effort, Rosie the Riveter had nothing on Wonder Woman. <laughs> Agree with our choices? I'm going to have to get accustomed to men and devious women. What other facts about the amazing Amazon should we have included? Would you like me to teach you how to sword fight? For more enthralling top tens published daily, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.